They spread their talents not only in Queensland, but worldwide. And the one of the fellows responsible for, in fact, the fellow who's mainly responsible for the Ned Flanders eleven, is uh, is Matthew Young. He's the captain of the side, and uh, they've got a, a tour coming up very shortly. Well, I'll let, let Matt tell you about it, because it's a really interesting story. Matt, good morning to you. Hi, oh, John. How are you, mate? I, I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm very good indeed. Look, you, you you are a side with a real cult following. Everybody in Queensland, and as I said, probably spreads even even further, yeah. know about the Ned Flanders 11. Oh, mate, we like a little bit of, uh, a little bit of intrigue and fame, so we don't <laughs> mind a little bit of publicity, and we don't mind don't mind people hearing our story. We sort of hope that it maybe uh, inspires other people to do something similar to what we're doing. All right. Now, where did the, the concept of, of the netties, as they're known, come from? Um, we, we kicked off about 15, 16 years ago, and I suppose it was just a bunch of mates that wanted to play cricket. Um, you know, competitively, and uh, we were never going to play under the baggy green. We're never going to get a, a, a baggy of our own cap, but we thought we could have a lot of fun playing cricket anyway. And uh, we decided we'd uh, form our own team rather than sort of join another club, just so that we could sort of keep that ethos of mateship really tight. And uh, then we started stumbling on the idea that we all really love travelling, and we thought we might like to try and combine our two passions, cricket and travel. Fantastic. So, how many members have you got? In the um, Ned Flanders, well, well you've got the Ned Flanders 11, but how many in the actual club? Oh, we've probably got about, um, we've probably had about 120 blokes go through the team over the years, and um, probably at this stage, you know, we've probably got about 50, a core of 15 players that have sort of embraced the idea of travelling and, and get on every tour, and then we've got all the uh, the wives, girlfriends, kids, we've got a few grandparents that come out and watch our games, and a few of the uh, grandparents have come on the tours as well, so, <laughs> you know, we, uh, we have a bit of an entourage. Tell you what, you're a good story for the travel companies and oh, the airlines. Yeah, they lap it up. <laughs> I bet they do. Now, what have you got to do to qualify to uh, to play for the, the Ned Flanders 11? Well, you've probably got to have a couple of criteria. The first one is you've got to love cricket, and yeah. the second one is you've got to be a good bloke, you know, right. and uh, we'll always take a good bloke over a good cricketer. <laughs> 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 That's terrific. Now, when you're at home domestically, where do you play most of your games? Oh, all around Brisbane. So we play a few games at, at uh, Kianawa Park at Tingalpa with all the warehouse boys, and uh, and our home ground is actually at Holland Park at the moment. Uh, so that's where we're playing our domestic stuff, and. Uh, we're just in the in the in the stage at the moment of winding that season down, and we're quite excited about that because once this season finishes here in Brisbane, then we're tool systems go for our, our tour. I'll talk about that in a moment. Just tell us about the actual name, the Ned Flanders Eleven. <laughs> when we started, uh, when we started off, we uh, we approached a number of different competitions, and we were a little bit late in the season to get on board. And the only people that would take us on were churches cricket, and. Uh, without telling too many stories we, we, we don't really have too much a religious affiliation that sort of links the team and so the only religious bloke we could think of was Ned Flanders so um, we, we called that sort of the Ned Flanders but, but the, 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 the theme behind that is that you know, obviously a lot of Australian boys fought and died in Flanders Field in World War One, yeah. and, and, and that really pioneered the spirit of mateship and camaraderie and self-sacrifice and that's what we really identify with so beyond the, the joke part of the name if you like we really do feel like there is a core, uh, core deeper meaning. Yeah, terrific. Now, look, one of the things, Matt, that you have done or, or that you intend to do is to play cricket against other teams in every continent yeah. around the world. Yeah. So, how many of you, how many continents have you played in already? We've racked up four so far. Who have you had? Uh, in uh, 2006, we went to Vanuatu, so that ticked off Oceania. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, 08, we went over to Japan and we played uh, their national team as well. And then our last two was our biggest one thus far, and that was uh, we flew into Spain and knocked over Spain and Gibraltar, and then. Uh, swung down to Morocco and played four matches in Morocco. That was our longest ever series. Uh, and, 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 and as of yet, we are still actually undefeated in, 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 in international <laughs> cricket. <laughs> oh, Morocco. So that takes in the African continent, right, of course. Yeah, so we picked oh, off Africa. So the next one... Who'd you play in Japan? We all played their national team. I didn't know they had one. Yeah, well, they were, at that stage, they were ranked 29 in the world. We're oh, were they? We're quite proud of our, ourselves on that one. That's our highest ever... Um, well, we sort of decided we take their rankings. That's our highest ever ranking. 
So, and and what, a 50 overs game or a longer yeah, version? 50 over game, yeah. yeah. So he played a variety, played a few 2020s and a few yeah. 50 over games. Yeah. Fantastic. So you've you've already, you've racked up Oceania, Asia, Europe and Africa. That's right. And now you head to the Americas. That's right, yeah. All right. So North America on this tour in the uh, middle of this year. And uh, we'll knock over, uh, we're going to play Mexico in Cancun and then we're going to get into Belize City and play Belize. Uh, we're also going to play uh, the Crompton Cricket Club in Los Angeles and they're quite famous because they, they toured Australia last year. They, they sort of had the same sort of mindset as us, I think. Terrific. So how many games in all will you play on this tour? Uh, well, four games on four, this tour. Four, have you? Yeah. So how long does the tour go for? Uh, it's two weeks. Terrific. Yeah. yeah. And so that's, that's mid-year? That's right, yeah, June and July this year. So I get home just in time to watch the Olympics. <laughs> Good on you, mate. So after you've then conquered the Americas, what do you have left? Well, Game in Antarctica, do you? So we'll have to do Peru. <laughs> Peru. And yeah. then we're, we're thinking about how we're going to get Antarctica ticked off. <laughs> yeah, we might find a bunch of research scientists down there at Casey Base or something like that and uh, give them a bit of a go. I, I bet they'd love to have you. Yeah. It yeah. sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. Oh, we have a ball. And I mean, the cricket's only one thing. You know, we do coaching and uh, there's a few medical boys in the team who have done a few clinical things and, uh, yeah. you know, just, just meeting other people from other countries that, that share the passion for cricket. It's really cricket. what we love and, and promote the game of cricket. I mean, it's been the main thing in all of our lives for a few decades and, and uh, we want to spread that gospel, if you like, if you want to get your religious uh, metaphor going, yeah. spread the gospel of cricket to the world, you know. I was going to ask you about sort of the, the make-up as far as uh, professions and jobs are concerned of the the members of the team? Oh, it's a fair mix. We've got a few, as I said, we've got a few doctors, nurses, physios. Uh, yeah, we've all met through through work, obviously. And, uh, we've got I tell you what, it's handy, handy, to, handy to have them along when oh, the blokes are getting a bit old, look after all the injuries. That's right, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and the gastro outbreak we had in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief. Yeah. So who else have we got? Oh, a few lawyers and accountants, uh, a few IT sort of blokes, uh, school teachers, um... Fantastic. Uh, yeah, a few man, a couple of young younger fellows that are still sort of students and, and still studying, but um, you know, it is a fairly eclectic sort of yeah. bunch of fellows. But and so the, the common theme is you've got to be a good bloke. You've got to be a good bloke, and if you yeah. can play cricket as well, that's a bonus. That's a bonus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, during a season at home, how many games would you normally play? Um, we usually have about fifteen games a season. Do you? The season goes from October to March. Less, less, less. Less games this season because of all the rain, yes. um, but uh, about 15 games, two days and one day games. Mate, are you always looking for uh, for new players? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Andrew Simons, we sort of uh, thought he might be r rough chance. Matty Hayden, now he's retired, we we're sort of uh, hoping he <laughs> might give us a ring at some stage. But, you know. Oh, look, he's he probably qualifies. He's a good bloke and he can play a bit. <laughs> he's fairly handy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to bat up number three that week. Oh, yeah. like, they might drop up the top of the order, you know. <laughs> so, if they'd like, if someone would like to uh, to join or inquire about it, what do they? How do they go about it? Well, we've, got a, we've got a website. Have you? Uh, yeah. NFXI Cricket. So NF and, and it's Landers, obviously NFXI Cricket. Dot com. So all the contact details are on there, and uh, you know if people want to get involved and, and they love cricket and they love a laugh and uh, they got a, a current passport, then we'd sort of certainly love to hear from them. Terrific. So that website again, it's NFXI Cricket, standing of course for yep. Ned Flanders Eleven. NFXI Cricket dot com. Yep. Terrific. That's right. And what about people who mightn't be cricketers but think that'd be a bit of fun to just, you know, go on the tour with them and watch the boys play and have a bit of fun? Yeah. Oh, we'd like to have them aboard as well. Like, as I said, we've had quite a few of our wives, girlfriends, parents, grandparents come along on previous tours. And, uh, you know, we don't just watch... Cr but they wouldn't just be watching the cricket. We get out and we see the country as well. You know, in Japan, we climbed Mount Fuji and did a bit of touring around with, to uh, Kyoto and... Saw some of the sights of Tokyo in Morocco. We went out in the desert on you know, road camels and <laughs> saw a few things. And so, you know, it's certainly not just about watching cricket. It's about the, the cultural immersion, if you like, as well. Good idea. Well, as I said earlier, uh, Matt, look, it's a, 
a cricket team that their name is known. People may not know all that much about them. They say, oh, the Dead Flanders 11, I've heard about them. So now you know a bit of the, the, uh, of the background of them. It sounds like just a, a terrific mob of fellas, and not only the fellas, of course, all of the, the partners as well, Absolutely. and you said <laughs> grandparents and you yeah. name it, they're all involved. Yeah. Good on you. Mate, Thanks terrific. Thanks your interest, mate. Terrific to talk to you, Matt, and I, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people will uh, will be... Perhaps young blokes be interested in having a game and joining a uh, a place where you can just have a lot of fun and uh, enjoy your cricket and enjoy the camaraderie of all of your teammates and do a fair bit of travelling. So good luck with that uh, tour to the United States and Mexico and down to Belize. Thank It'll be just know. wonderful. Might have a chat to you when you get back, mate, I'm and see how it chat. went. I love I love talking about the Flanders, mate. Good on you. Yeah, good on you. Thanks, mate. Good to talk with you. <laughs> See you, mate. See you, Matt. Bye now. There he is, Matthew Young. And uh, Matt was sort of the the driving force behind... It was really his brainchild, and uh, he's the the club legend, and he's the uh, the captain. But, gee, they sound a good mob of blokes, don't they? Yeah, the, the Ned Flanders 11. So if you would like further details, that website, again, it's nfxicricket.com. Sort of my sort of team, I reckon. <laughs> Back with more in just a moment. In fact, just before we do, we'll update the uh, the scores for you in the chat.